and gentlemen of the internet, how are you guys doing? Uh, my name is Matt Legrand, and on this channel, we are always talking about swimming, biking, or running. General triathlon content. I mean, there was this one time when we did that deep dive on miniature giraffe limbo competitions, uh, but that was a little bit weird. And today, today we are reviewing the most expensive goggle in the world. This is the one goggle that I've had the most requests to review and the most questions about. This is the Form Swim Goggle with a heads up display so that you can see live swimming metrics like how fast you're swimming while you're actually swimming. And in this video, we're gonna go over what you actually get when you buy these $200 pair of goggles, all the details of the goggles, uh, and I'll do my best to show you exactly what it looks like when you swim with these goggles. And I'll give you my opinion on the general fit, feel, uh, the visibility when you're wearing these goggles, uh, as well as like what I dislike uh, and my general overall opinion on the Form Swim goggles. And lastly, at the end of this video, I'm gonna go over how you can actually win these bad boys. Okay, let's jump right into it. The Form Swim Goggles come with a super nice case uh, that has venting for water and things like that. And in the case, there are seven nose bridge options. Uh, it comes with a charging cable. It has that magnetic charging cable that kind of snaps into place. Everybody loves the snap into place of the magnetic charging cable. Uh, and it also comes with instructions, uh, a small clip that allows you to attach uh, the Polar OH1 heart rate monitor if you choose to purchase that. Uh, but I just wanna be clear that that heart rate monitor does not come with the goggles. It's a separate company called Polar. In addition to that $200 that you've spent, uh, it'll cost you about $80 from Polar to buy that separate heart rate monitor. And these goggles look pretty normal. Uh, they're about 25 millimeters high. Uh, they're about 35 millimeters wide. Uh, but if you're talking about this slight computer on the other side, uh, that's actually about twice the width if you actually measure the width all the way back to the back. And definitely of note is the actual depth of the goggles themselves. Uh, I measured this one at about, you know, somewhere between 15 and 20 millimeters in depth. Uh, so that's kind of not measuring the gasket itself. Uh, and just so you could have some sort of comparison, the last video where I talked about the Roka goggles, those were only about uh, three to five millimeters in depth. So uh, at best, these are about three times larger, three to four times I would say larger as far as the actual depth of the goggles themselves. So they do come off of your eyes quite a bit. You don't really notice it when you first look at the goggles uh, just because you have the actual glass part of the goggles uh, and then they've colored it black, uh, but there is some more depth to the goggle before you get to the gasket. And the gasket itself is made of silicone. Uh, the goggles communicate with your phone uh, using Bluetooth 4.2. And the onboard heads up display and computer has a 16 hour battery life. And I actually thought that the battery life was amazing. Uh, there was one point when I did a workout with the goggles, uh, left them in my bag, but had left them on, uh, only realizing it about seven hours later. And I came back, took a look at them and the battery life had only gone down about halfway. So I do believe in that 16 hour battery life. I'm super impressed with the overall battery life, but it is a pair of goggles that you have to charge up eventually. And these goggles weigh in at about 2.2 ounces, uh, which is about twice what some of the other goggles that we've tested in the reviews that we've been doing recently. Uh, but you don't really notice the weight all that much. And in all honesty, they kind of look like normal goggles other than this kind of protruding heads up display computer. And you can wear that heads up display on either side, either the left or the right side. There's a little settings menu uh, right within the goggles themselves, uh, but there's also an application where you can go in and make lots of different changes within your goggles. And speaking of the application, 
it is absolutely fantastic. As many of you guys know, I develop mobile applications for my day job, and one of the things that I've been most impressed with is the Form mobile application. It really feels like Strava for swimming. And like Strava, there is a feed area where you can see the people you're following and all of their workouts. Uh, and you can comment and like other people's workouts. Uh, and you can get tons of metrics when you dive into someone's workout details. And what you'll notice right away is that there's a complete breakdown of your workout or their workout with splits uh, and the type of stroke that they're doing, S-Wolf scores, tons of different details uh, about your swim. And I don't necessarily believe that all of this is 100% accurate. Uh, it does do a really good job of detecting stroke and detecting when you're actually pausing your workout. Uh, but you can tell that the development will continue to improve in this regards. You know, as they hone the algorithms, this will just continue to get better and better. And so the feed section and the details of your workout were super cool within the application. But there are actually other sections of this application that I wanna talk about. And the second section of the app is where you can actually make changes to your goggles display. Uh, and I might actually make a separate video kind of detailing some of that information uh, because it does get a bit detailed. And lastly, there's a profile section within the application where you can kind of look at your own stats, uh, you can see your connections, uh, and you can kind of do some other cool stuff like set your own personal goals for the week. And at the time of recording this video, the app has the ability to sync with Strava, Training Peaks, uh, and Apple Heart. And Garmin users can sync their swims from their smartwatch to the form application itself. I mentioned that these cost $200, uh, which makes them the most expensive goggles in the world. In fact, uh, when I quickly kind of looked over a couple of other expensive goggles, I still feel like these were two to four times as expensive as very high-end goggles that are on the market currently. And they do ship internationally from their website. Uh, and I'll also leave a link uh, to their website below in the description of this video, as well as an affiliate link where you can buy these on Amazon. Uh, and and if you do decide to do that, uh, it won't cost you anything extra or anything like that, but it does help support this channel and I really do appreciate it. And this is the perfect time to mention that Form Swim Goggles, uh, they did send me these goggles to review, uh, but it's not a sponsored video and they don't get to see this video or review this video uh, before it goes live and you guys get to see it on YouTube. Uh, and as much as possible, when a company sends me something, I'm gonna try to pass it along to you guys in the form of giveaways. And as much as it pains me to give away these goggles, I'm really excited to see what you guys think when I pass it along to one of you. And so far I've swam about 14,000 yards in these, which I think is enough to pass along my thoughts. And what I thought might be most interesting to you guys is just to take a look at what the heads up display looks like when you're actually swimming. And so this is a one armed 50 while trying to hold a GoPro and these goggles in place. So you can kind of get a feel of what the screen looks like when you're swimming. And the display is this minimal see-through two lines of metrics here. And you don't have to focus your eyes eyes too hard uh, to get a quick look at the numbers. And I would say that it kind of looks like the numbers are somewhat floating in front of you in the water. And you don't need your smartphone next to the pool while you're swimming with these. Uh, you can just swim, save the information on the goggles themselves. And when your workout is done and recorded, the goggles can be synced to your phone later. And when you're actually swimming a workout, uh, there are three main screens. There's a swim screen, so that's the metrics that you would look at while you're swimming. Uh, the turn screen, so as you do a flip turn or a touch turn, uh, this is a, a screen that would pop up at that point. And then there's also a rest screen, so you can see how much time you're resting in between sets. And you can change the bottom metric uh, pretty much on all of these different screens, uh, but for some odd reason, you're not able to change the top metric. It just shows total swim time. And I actually asked the company about that, uh, and they said that that was a very important metric, uh, but they did kind of sound like they were interested in potentially making that change, and I'm pretty sure that they will, uh, because it does seem very odd that you're not able to change that top metric. 
And on the bottom metric, you can set this for split times. Uh, you can do pace for 100 or pace for 50. Uh, you can actually display your stroke rate, your stroke count, uh, distance per stroke, or you can have it display your heart rate. But again, remember that that does require that extra polar heart rate monitor. Or you can display the total workout distance, calories, or the number of links that you've swam. And all of those metrics can be seen on the swim screen as well as the turn screen. And this might seem weird, but you can actually turn off the swim screen and just see the turn splits. But I actually think that it makes a lot of sense. And some of you guys might be asking if there's a prescription version of these goggles. Uh, and currently there is not. However, you might find it um, pretty reasonable because the display itself is pretty large and pretty clear. And I actually let a large number of swimmers borrow these goggles. Uh, and one lady who is an absolute amazing swimmer, uh, she has single eye vision, and she was able to see the display pretty clearly. And she mentioned after having swim with it just a little bit, uh, that you don't need a ton of visibility when you're just doing basic lap swimming. And I ended up having about 30 different experienced swimmers borrow the goggles, uh, take them for a couple of laps, and some of the athletes swam a good bit further. And I asked each of them three questions. What do you think of the goggles? Did you have any leaks while you were swimming with the goggles? And rate the visibility on a scale of one to 10. And out of the 30 people or so that tried the goggles, only about a third of them thought the visibility was reasonable or acceptable. Uh, and this was kind of my experience as well. It might be that the shape of the goggles uh, just doesn't allow for good peripheral vision. And I just didn't feel like I could swim with these goggles in a large group of swimmers. I really like to be able to see if I'm coming up on a swimmer uh, or if I need to give them extra room because they're doing butterfly or something like that. And this might sound weird, but it just seemed like there were more bubbles or something like that. They were coming up and over the goggles as I was swimming, uh, really obscuring my view as I was swimming. So if you end up buying these goggles and you start swimming and you're concerned about visibility, uh, I have a couple quick suggestions. Uh, one would be trying to switch the heads up display from the left eye to the right eye. Uh, when I did that, I did notice that using my left eye with a heads up display ended up being a little bit more clear than the right eye. I think it probably has something to do with whichever eye you're most dominant with. And secondly, you have the option to turn off that swim screen uh, and only look at metrics when you do a flip turn or when you're in that rest screen. And I actually think that that might be a very good option as well, because the data that you're actually looking at, it's not truly live real time pacing metrics. It's actually only showing you pace for the previous pool length that you just did. And I want to make it clear that there's no GPS built into this computer unit. So there's no way that you would be able to tell distance or speed or anything like that when doing an open water swimming event. And while it doesn't have GPS, it does pack an extremely compact onboard computer uh, that's used to do that stroke detection and to power the heads up display itself. And it looks unique, but the size doesn't really bother me that much. But I do think it has some effect on the overall fit and feel of the goggles. In particular, the extra depth that's needed for the heads up display in these goggles uh, feels pretty noticeable. Anytime you put your head in a streamlined position and you kind of push hard off the wall, and one of the first things I did when swimming with these was to just dive right in the pool. And that was just too much extra force, you know, with the extra depth of these goggles to keep these goggles in position and keep them from leaking. And that was the same whether I was diving off the starting blocks or just diving from the edge of the pool. And I know that goggle fit is a super personal thing, so your experience might be very different from mine. Uh, but one thing that I would recommend that you do uh, is just to bring the case with all the different nose piece options uh, when you first go to the pool and you're first swimming in these goggles. And I would just go ahead and set aside a little extra time uh, with that first swim, uh, just so that you have that time to really dial in the fit. And the good news is that they provide a 45 day fit guarantee with free shipping both ways. So if you're not happy with the way they work, uh, you can send them back. And I did ask the form team specifically about returns, and they didn't give me any sort of specific hard numbers, but it didn't sound like they got very many returns at all. And so I really think that that speaks to the quality of this particular device. 
So who are these goggles for? Well, these goggles are designed for training specifically. Uh, they are not FINA approved for swimming competitions, uh, but this particular channel that you're watching is a triathlon channel, and we don't really care about FINA whatsoever. And I haven't found any rule forbidding or banning these particular goggles from triathlons. And since each triathlon kind of has their own rules, you could fire off a quick email to the race director asking specifically about these goggles, but I can't imagine that they would care what Whatsoever. If it were up to me, I would just go ahead and wear them and race in them and not think twice about it. And I think triathletes would probably prefer to use these in more of a, a training scenario, but the person that I think would really enjoy a pair of goggles like this is someone who might not necessarily have like a coach on deck calling out splits, uh, or maybe even not have access to a pace clock, uh, but probably a swimmer that tends to swim longer intervals and really wants to work on pace. So my overall feelings about these goggles is that I'm super impressed with the technology that goes into these. The actual heads up display is pretty fantastic. Uh, they didn't actually bother me at all. And I have no doubt in my mind that this particular swim company is the most innovative swim company out there at the moment, which means that I think that they'll be able to overcome some of the small hurdles that I've mentioned in this video. And they'll probably iterate on this particular technology in the future. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about what they're gonna do. Okay, if you'd like to win these pair of goggles, I'm gonna ask you to do three quick things. The first is super simple, and that is just to subscribe to this channel. Uh, and the second, also super easy, drop a comment below and just tell me about your last swim workout. How did it go? How did you feel? And the last thing that I'd like you to do is just share this video with a friend or potentially just share it on your favorite social media platform. And after about two or three weeks, I'll just go through and pick one random commenter to win these particular goggles. And all I'll need from you is just to get your address. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. And we will see you guys on the next one.